How is the going guys? Mutemo here back again with another video. So guys, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, you can see uh, this photo is already retouched. Everything is looking nice. Uh, today's video is a uh, how to add texture on a background to just make it look like uh, it's a tie and tie or it's a like to add texture on the background to make it look more, more, mm, let's say more appealing. So First thing I'll do, I have downloaded my textures right here. Uh, let me show to downloads, downloads. Yes, I've downloaded my textures here. You can see them, they are here. Um, what I'll do, what I'll do, of course, I love to duplicate this. Sorry. I'll duplicate this once. Okay. Then I come here, pick uh, the texture I want to be on the background and I really want to be like a gray texture So I'll pick these ones this one right here and just drag it there You can see how it looks then say okay uh, If you want to rotate it just press T in your keyboard then rotate it just and uh, Adjust it to fill the hole image like that and say okay you can see it fills the whole picture the next thing i'll do go disable the the background the the, the texture then select on the layer then go to select subject after you select subject enable your texture then create a layer mask there then invert your layer you can see how it looks it looks like uh, it's been photoshopped that's for sure okay first thing I'll do uh, change the blending mode of this uh, background to overlay so that it can, bl can blend in perfectly with your background and then select on the background right here on the texture then go to filter then blur then gaussian blur then increase the increase the the radius until you feel it looks nice for you uh, you can see the difference we have done so far then now reduce the opacity of the reduce the opacity of the of the texture until it it is like uh, it's <coughs> let's say it's appealing let's say it's appealing and then you can see before after before after you can see this this texture like background here and just looks nice like the photo doesn't look i feel it has made a very big difference and you can this do this to any different texture you want to add in your background different textures you can buy textures online you can download for free but you can add any texture you want to get any results you want you can see uh before and after and that's the easiest way you can add texture and one last thing you can just go to uh, go to camera row select here then select camera row filter Then let's just add some vignette, more vignette, vignette. Just make sure it looks nice. Then say okay. Boom. Before, after, before, after. That's how easily you can add some texture in your background to make your images pop even more and look more dramatic. And you can see we have done like no there, there there is not much effect on the picture just on the background and there's that depth in the picture you can see before it looks just a plain background and then after that you can see how much we have done there that's how you can easily add texture in your background you have to clean the background depending on the texture you want that's the easiest way you can add texture on a background and i'll do the same to another image to just uh, make it to make you understand see here and pick another picture 
let's say uh, on this picture we want to add another texture on this was a gray background let's now work on this green background uh, if you follow me I'm sure you have watched a tutorial on this picture how we edited it we'll do the same duplicate then go to your textures right here let's let's use let's use this one and then drag it right here it will pick to camera raw direct because that's how I've set you can see how this looks then say okay if you want to rotate it just press R in your keyboard to just rotate it straight like that and then drag it until it fits the whole image like that <laughs> perfect then disable the texture then select on the select on the subject <sighs> sorry guys just slight then select enable the texture you can see there is this diagram inside the texture create a layer mask there and then just control i to invert until you see the texture goes on the background but you can see this looks very photoshopped so what you do change the blending mode here to uh overlay okay and then let's uh work on the go to filter blur gaussian blur and then increase the blur of the texture until you feel it's enough for you and then now come here and then reduce the opacity until you feel the textures like the background doesn't have to it, you can see there's that difference it the textures bring on the, like there's a certain depth because this is already a smart filter you can just come back here to your gaussian blur and increase the radius until you feel your image looks nice and not so photoshopped and maybe you use like a, i have a tie and tie background that looks like this but i don't have to use it what i do i can just add texture on your image and make it look more amazing and you can pick your brush tool there crease the floor and now go painting on the areas where you want the textures to even be more feasible just creating something interesting with photoshop let's say so far what we have right now looks so nice if we just increase the opacity you can see how it looks it's someone can just say we shot with this type of background but we actually didn't shoot with that type of background this is the background we used but you can see after we 